So today we'll discuss greatest integer function. Now greatest integer function, as the name itself suggests, it has something to do with integers and we human, we have more affinity towards integer than any other number, say rational, irrational complex or hyper complex numbers. Now, I fail to understand why so many students and some teachers, they find it a little different, a little difficult and they find, find it tough to solve problems when it concerns greatest integer function. So, we'll explore what greatest integer function is and we'll explore its property so that we'll be able to solve the problems related to greatest integer function. Now, a greatest integer function fx, it looks like fx equals the square bracket x and in any standard text, they'll mention it specifically. These boxes, they're going to represent greatest integer function. Now, what does this function do? Suppose I have any number x. I can express any number x as sum of its integral part plus its fractional part. So this n is its integral part and this f is its fractional part. So in a way, this n, it should be an integer. So n belongs to z. And this f being a fraction, the value of f should lie between 0 and 1. And when I can express this number x as n plus f, and if I take greatest integer function of x, then greatest integer function of x will give me its integral part, and which is n in this case. Say, for example, suppose I have to find greatest integer function of 1.2. Now, I know that. I can write 1.2 as 1 plus 0 0.2. So its integral part is 1. So the value of 1.2 is simply 1. Now let us take another example. Say it is 5.79. Now I can write 5.79 as 5 plus 0 0.79. So its integral part is 5 and its decimal part is 0 0.79. So the value of 5.79 greatest integer function is simply 5. Now, what if I have negative numbers? Say, for example, suppose I have to find greatest integer function of minus 1.2. Now, this minus 1.2, I can write it as minus 1 minus 0 0.2. But here I have a problem. And what is the problem? Problem is this fractional part f, it should be a positive number lying between 0 and 1 and here I'm getting a fraction which is negative. So rather than expressing it in this way, we actually express minus 1.2 as minus 2 plus 0 0.8 and that is the correct way of expressing minus 1.2. So its integral part is minus 2 and its fractional part is 0 0.8. So greatest integral function of minus 1.2 is simply minus 2. Now what about greatest integer function of minus 5.79 so rather than writing it as minus 5 minus 0.79 i'll write it as minus 6 and plus 0 0.21 so in this case its greatest integer function will be minus 6 the greatest integer value of 5.79 is minus 6 what about this minus 5 minus 5 is minus 3.14 now because it is minus 3 then its greatest integer function will be simply minus 4 so essentially greatest integer function is nothing but it's a function which is going to give you integral part of any given number or any given real number x so say if the number is positive and with a fraction 1.2 it'll be 1 5.79 it's 5 pi 3.14 it's 3 and for the negative number minus 1.2 then minus 2 minus 5.79 then minus 6 minus 3.14 then minus 4 and in case if it is an integer then the greatest integer function is that number itself so if it is 2 then it will be 2 and if it is minus 2 then it will be minus 2 now say for example i need to find the value of greatest integer function of e minus minus 5 now i know that the value of e is 2.71 something and minus and this is minus 3.14 now it's a positive number so what is greatest integer function of 2.71 so it is 2 plus 0.71 so its integral part is simply 2 and then minus 
Now minus 3.14, minus 3.14 is minus 4 plus positive fraction. So in this case, its greater singular function will be minus 4. So 2 minus of minus 4 is 6. So answer to this question is simply 6. If you like the video, consider subscribing and sharing it with someone you know who might benefit from it. Also, the best way to navigate any topic is through a playlist. Simply go to the channel page, click playlist and select the topic you wish to study.